Welcome to The Garage USA. I'm Jonathan Brinke and today I'm going to be going through some automotive tools and accessories that my wife ordered from Timu. Thanks for joining me. So my wife ordered some automotive tools and accessories from Timu. Uh, it's a website or app. Um, stuff is pretty cheap on there. So we're going to go through, take a look, and see what we've got. And so let's get started. Carefully open this up. So the first thing we have is a car brush cleaner wool soft glove. And so this just goes on your hand like this and then you can clean the inside of your car. It's actually pretty pretty soft, pretty nice. So all right, so we'll try that out a little later. This is a coral velvet car wash sponge car exterior cleaning sponge car window wash detailing soft brush car dust removal cleaning accessories tool. So here you go. And again, you just slide your hand in here and uh, there's a little bit of threads coming off here, but uh, you know, for the price, what the hell, you know? Um, so we'll try that out when I wash the car. Alright, so next is Jajabor Car FM Transmitter Wireless MP3 Player TF Card U Disc Playback 3.1 USB car charger, hands-free, wireless, 5.0 car kit. And so, there's that. And so this just plugs into a cigarette lighter and it's supposed to broadcast to an FM station and so then you can um, do your Bluetooth through your stereo if your car does not have like a Bluetooth or aux cord connection. So we'll try that out later as well. Alright, and then we have this. And this is the two-in-one car visor, day and night, anti-glare visor, automobile sun anti-UV block visor, non-glare anti-dazzle sunshade mirror goggles shield for driving. So this just clips on to your sun visor and then you can fold this down and it's actually good because my daughter is shorter and she's going to need a little flip down visor 
in addition to the sun visor. So we'll see how that works. And then last we have this. And this I'm actually excited for. And this is the MS309 OBD2, OBD2, EOBD fault code reader car diagnostic scanner tool. And um, yeah, so we're gonna try this out today. And so this will just plug into the car and uh, it's a code reader, so you'll be able to see what's going on with the car. So, excited to try this out. Okay, so I'm out in my car where I'm gonna try some of these things out. I'm gonna start off with the visor clip thingy. So, take the plastic sheeting off of this. And then according to the instructions, you push this button here, and then you can clip it onto your sun visor. the solar one. Okay, so my grandma had one in her Buick when I was a kid, but it actually clipped on to the edge of the sun visor and gave you like an extended reach. I wonder... That just goes way too far. So, the problem with this is these shields are smaller than the actual visor on the car. So, they don't provide anything additional as far as length. Um, and I wouldn't recommend this at all. Not a good buy. I'll try this little uh, adapter. It plugs into the cigarette lighter, and then you can connect your phone to it, and it'll play through an FM stereo station. Got that plugged into the cigarette lighter. And it did come with a quick to use. Turn on the car radio and select an FM frequency that is full of noise. Only current sound, no music, no sound, not quiet. For example, 87.5 to 108 megahertz. Insert the product into the cigarette lighter hole. When it displays 87.5, press and hold the phone icon for three seconds then adjust to whichever station you've got your radio set to insert a USB disc or TF card to play music the mobile phone is connected to Bluetooth device 809 the connection is successful you can make calls play music etc when you hear other radio station sounds or noises, please follow steps one and two to change the FM frequency. All right, so we'll see if this works.
Okay, so this is actually not going to work in my car because my Mercedes will not allow me to tune to just anything. Um, I have to hit the forward or backward button for the radio stations and then it just goes to the next tunable station. So I'm not going to be able to get to a station that doesn't have music playing on it. So that is a fail on that one. Alright, so next up we will try this little uh, cleaning glove here. I can't imagine I'm going to have any problems with it. Yep, it, uh, it picked up the dust and if I sprayed a little uh, cleaner on there, I'm sure this thing would work great. So this is a good purchase. The other one is the car wash big rag thing here. Um, I'm not washing my car today, but I can't imagine this is going to be a bad purchase because, I mean, it's just a big piece of cloth with a sponge in it. So this is a good buy. And then the last thing is a code reader. I'm not going to plug this into my car, but I will plug it into a different car that I have here. So um, give me a second on that. All right, so I've got it plugged into my Jeep. Let's see if we can. It's found zero. Code, reading codes, no codes. Okay. Okay, so I've got no fault codes or error codes on the Jeep. So let's go ahead and try the van because I know the check engine light is on on the van. And we've got two fault codes. So we will read the codes. O2 sensor, circuit, low voltage, bank two, sensor two. That's P0157 as a code. And P0171, system two lean, bank one. So there you go. Those are my fault codes. Okay, so let's go through these. Uh, the cell phone connector, total fail. The solar visor thingy, that's also a fail. Then we have the little cleaning glove that worked we have the car washing sponge I did not try this out but I can't see any reason why this would fail so that's a win and then of course the $10 scan tool I scanned two vehicles the Jeep didn't have any codes um, however, the van did display two codes, so it was able to read the codes. Uh, so I would say definitely this is a win. So overall, pretty good purchase through Timu. I have never bought anything from them before, but I can see myself getting a few more things from them. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'd like to thank you for watching the Garage USA. I'm Jonathan Brinky, and I'll see you next time. Bye.